Germany javelin thrower Katharina Molitor has uh, retired from throwing. This was posted on Wednesday on the European Athletics website. Uh, we just, I just thought I'd, I'd comment on it. Uh, she has been uh, announced that she retired from throwing at the age of 34. Uh, there hasn't actually been anything said about this yet, uh, but for the moment, uh, she hasn't. She's just got sort of going to quiet down, I suppose. Um, she's been the top eight in major championships between 2008 and 2017. Uh, she drew the curtain on her career at Berlin 2018 European Athletics Championships when she exited in qualifying with 58 metres. Now, this is actually a girl that had thrown 67.69 metres in 2015. Uh, she won that. So I just wanted to bring this up. Uh, the link will be in the description to any websites relating to her or social media that you can follow her on. Um, and that is that. So, moving on to some other news, uh, Niraj Chopra, or I can never pronounce his name. There was an article that came out on one of these websites, uh, which was an Indian-based website, which, in my eyes, was a very controversial thing. Um, not controversial in his career, in this guy's career himself, but just in the way that the article was written. Now, let me just let me just put this forward, and then people can see it. Now, the article's fine and all that, but this particular title kind of annoyed me it said um meet niraj chopra the man who made javelin famous now don't get me wrong he's a very good thrower of things he's much better than i am and he's much better than i ever will be but he did not make javelin famous he never will uh, I'm sorry. I, I love the. I think the dude's amazing. But let's be frank here. He never made javelin famous. Um, javelin was famous way before him. Of the likes of Andreas Torkilson, Sintero Pikamaki, a handful Jans and Esli, Steve Backley, handful of. Uh, that's just a handful of throwers. I mean, there was so many that made throwing. Uh, Andreas Vinek uh, or Vernek. Um, they were scrolling down and they were saying, if today they all know about the sport, as in us, it's largely because of the uh, splendorous achievement of a 20-year-old claimed gold at the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast. Now, I'm sorry, it's really taken him away. Uh, it says here, in fact, he went to the at the IAAF Diamond League in Doha this year. He threw 87.43 metres and went further up to at the uh, Jakarta Games, where he demol demolished the field with an effort of 88.06. Now, I just think it's whoever wrote this, with respect, it's, it's an absolutely biased article. Like, it's just all about him. Like, I get it. He's a very good thrower. He threw 88 metres. That's brilliant. You know, it really is. And I hope he gets 90 metres very soon. But personally, you can't go and say that he made javelin what it is today because the reason I'm doing uh, javelin and the reason I still continue to throw uh, is because I have a passion for it and, and a lot of throwers when you talk about it you know their idols are people like Thomas Roller and um, Andreas um, Andreas uh, Hoffman and, and Vetter Tero Pikamaki you know Jan Zanesli they're the idols I'm sorry they are they are the idols of sport there are many others i can't always pronounce all their names there are many many others uh, but to say that this one man has changed javelin and made it what it is and made people notice it is it's not right you know it's not you know i, I think the guy's very good and i'm, I'm never going to take that away from him he's a very very good thrower and i really can't wait for him to hit 90 meters it'd be absolutely amazing to see him hit 90 meters but javelin is always been what it is today. At the end of the day, people will watch it and people enjoy it. You know, it's, he didn't make javelin. He, he just threw a long way. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for listening to this small, short video. I want to do a few more of these because sometimes you can't always make a podcast out of the news. You need sort of three or four topics to even talk about. In this particular case, it was two. So thank you very much for tuning in. The links to both um, articles are in the description below. Tell me what you think. And uh, yes.